Welcome. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to overcome a problem you might occur when securely deleting a program. Specifically, I'll be showing you how to securely wipe a folder that contains several hidden system files. Now, this occurs because basically Windows just doesn't like you deleting anything that to, uh, that's to do with the system and will basically error out on uh, when you're trying to securely delete this folder. So I'm just, you know, I'm just going to delete Musab solution here rather than anything particularly kind of secretive. But, you know, you'll get the general idea of what to do. So, Absolution, I'm going to be using a shampoo for this one. But it happens with um, several programs. Uh, if we just try to wipe this whole file, you should see what happens here. Uh, click yes, so we're just wiping this whole folder. And it's going fine through the files here. But what we might find is that we want to actually delete the whole folder and any traces of the folder so that if hackers do get into the system, we just don't want them to know what's even been on there. And this is the problem. We get this error message and it says, well, on this one, it, it doesn't exactly seem like a system file, but actually it is. It's the uh, album art small. OK, so let's close that. Now, if we go in here, we see that those are indeed hidden files. So first thing we need to do is just to show them. So we go to tools, folder options. And we'll just change the view so that we can see all our hidden files. You want to show hidden files, but we also want to hide, unhide the protected system operating files. So just tick that one, click yes, click OK. And there we can see it. I got my album art, I got my album art there. And actually this one here you can see is a system file as well. That uh, My program here has just renamed it some gibberish so nobody knows what was there which is kind of cool but I can see here it's a type system file and what's bugging me is this hidden thing there so you can click advanced file is ready for archiving you can untick that but still it remains as hidden and that's because it's seeing it Windows is seeing this as a system file so we need to basically confuse Windows into thinking that this isn't a system file so to do that we can open it with our uh, any text editor. In fact, before I do that, I'll just show you that if you try to just change the file type on this, rename, uh, say .text, for example, say yes on this, we want to rename the file. If we now come into properties, you still see it's still hidden out because even though it's now a text doc or recognizing as a text document you know it's still it's still hidden out it's still seeing it as um as a system file so it still won't actually uh well we'll just won't wipe it so what i want to do is actually to edit it with my text editor and the way to tell Windows that this isn't a system file, it's confused about what it is, is simply press Control A to highlight everything and we're just going to press the delete key and we're just going to clear all the contents so Windows has no idea what this file is now. So we'll click yes on that, we'll click OK to that, uh, save file as that, yes I want to save the file. OK so now when I go into properties now it's still saying text document and our hidden option is now available to us. So we click OK on that one and now we're free to actually wipe the darn thing. So if I go to wipe with a shampoo, click yes. And you'd OK, so you don't have to do those individually. You can click on the uh, folder again and wipe these, wipe these all. But uh, if you want to delete the whole folder, I mean, if you wanted to delete it, you know, everything that was in this folder, um, you've got to go through the same process, so uh, uh, edit it with your note, uh, notepad, uh, your text editor, delete everything that's in there, uh, close it out and save it, save file, yes, don't worry about this one, it's opening another program, that just seems to occur on, uh, with notepad++, plus plus, I think, uh, go to desktop then, again, go down to properties, 
and now we get we get it back to the configuration settings file that's okay i can untick that i can go into an advanced and i can take that off and now i can click ok and i can wipe it again and i can do that with each of these so edit with notepad plus plus control a delete close yes okay close yes okay done it now do the same thing open with my text editor control a delete yes this is boring but this is what you gotta do if you want to securely delete stuff Ugh. okay and one more uh i mean i there we go delete close yes okay close that yes okay i'm there and now i can right click on my folder click on my folder i want to erase erase it and then wipe it and that should now hopefully oh we got something else what have i got album are large okay close program go back into it hmm what have i got can i erase these individually you shampoo wipe yes you can't do it way good ah yeah of course it can't i didn't change the properties go down to properties uh, advanced file good wrapping okay hmm should be ready to rock and roll with that one yep did that one okay let's try this one properties hidden advanced file is ready for archiving okay this is what happens when you try to rush these things okay wipe yes okay that's done it go to properties hidden advanced file is ready for archiving there it goes, no longer system file, let's see, shampoo, wipe, yes, okay, <laughs> oh, finally getting there, properties, in advanced, file is ready for archiving, okay, okay, now when we shampoo it, wipe it, that one should go as well, oh, good, at last, okay. So there, with a bit of hassle, but it's not too bad. And if you've got anything there that now really needs to be securely wiped and you don't want any traces left on your system at all, you don't even want to know people. I uh, don't even want no people to know that you know you had files on the system to begin with. Well, that'll all be that'll all be gone now. Um, now, if you really want this to be secure, you want to go back through, you know, your program like a shampoo again, and then actually securely delete uh, all the all the white space on there as well. So securely delete all the free space at the end of the hard disk, and then uh, that should that should help you then. So. Now I've done that, I can just go my view, don't show, hide protected things, so, and we are done, finally. Okay, hope you found that useful, and I will see you again in the next video.